Hi students, a hearty welcome to today's chemistry session. Today, let's discuss uh, an FAQ, a frequently asked question, that is SN1 reaction. It is from the chapter Haloalkanes and Haloalenes. The question is, discuss briefly the mechanism of SN1 reaction. You are asked to explain in a brief sense the mechanism of SN1 reaction. So what is uh, the term which SN1 indicate? That is S stands for substitution, N stands for nucleophile and 1 stands for unimolecular. So it is a substitution reaction and this reaction is carried out by a nucleophilic attack and it is a unimolecular reaction. That's what you have to understand from SN1 reaction. And it is also a first order reaction. That means the reaction follows first order kinetics. That means among the two reactants that is involved in the re in this particular reaction, in this reaction, alkyl halide and a nucleophile is undergoing reaction. Okay. In this, only alkyl halide, only one reactant determines the rate of the reaction. The concentration of only one reactant, the concentration of the alkyl halide only can determine the rate of the reaction. So it is known as a first order reaction or we can say the reaction follows first order kinetics. Now let's see what is the mechanism of SN1 reaction. This SN1 reaction proceeds via two steps. Step 1 is the rate determining step and it's supposed to be the slow step. Okay. And then second one is the nucleophilic attack. In the first step, the formation of carbocation takes place. In the first step, formation of carbocation takes place. And what is a carbocation? It is a carbon which is having six electrons. That means in that particular alkyl halide, the central carbon will be having only six electrons and so it will be positively charged. That is a carbocation. So the first step is the polarized Ci bond that means carbon halogen bond. Here it is iodine. So carbon halogen bond undergo hydrolysis to produce carbocation in slow and reversible manner. So you can see here alkyl halide, alkyl iodine, Ri. This R can be anyone, primary, secondary or tertiary. So you know that when we uh, know this tertiary carbocation is the most stable. Okay. This alkyl halide will be undergoing heterolysis. And another important thing that you have to keep in mind is this SN1 reaction takes place in polar protic solvents such as water, alcohol, acetic acid, etc. So what is the use of this polar protic solvent that we have to use for SN1 reaction? Polar protic solvent in that that positive part will solvate this halide that is present in the alkyl halide and so it will favor the formation of carbocation that means it will favor or it will in, it will induce stability to the formed carbocation as well as it will help the energy acquired from the solvation of halide ion from this polar protic solvent will help the heterolysis of alkyl halide okay so this alkyl halide will be heteral uh, will be uh, formed decomposed to form carbocation and iodide ion and this carbocation according to its stability what you have to keep in mind is primary cation is uh, less stable than secondary cation Secondary cation is less stable than tertiary carbocation. That means tertiary carbocation is the most stable form. So this formed carbocation in the second step attacked by the nucleophile. You can see here the nucleophile OH-. So the formed carbocation from the step 1, from the first step will be attacked by the nucleophile to form alcohol. This is the mechanism of S1 reaction. So these are the two steps involved in SN1 reaction. You write these two steps clearly and give the explanation for the same. So you will get full mark. So I hope you have understood the session. And uh, we will wind up the session now. And we will come up with another important questions and its answers. Thank you. We will see you again.